Terry Jacobson, Marketing Artfully. So this is the last day we're going to be looking at what kind of pins we want to make. Tomorrow we're going to start uh, making some pins. But today I wanted to show you a really cool thing that I will definitely be doing for my shops as I go forward. So one of the problems with Etsy, as a digital seller, I don't have it. As a handmade seller, you may not. But if you're a one-of-a-kind or a vintage seller, you're going to have this problem. Say you sell something like this lovely, you know, wall hanging, and then you're sold out of it, right? Then when somebody clicks through that pin that you did all that work for, now they're going to all the other things like that rather than your store. So one thing that we can really do that will make a huge difference for this is we can make what are called collage pins, meaning like with this one, this is wedding invitations, customizable templates, and then it shows four different kinds. If you click through this, this goes to their wedding invitation category page. And as Etsy sellers, we can do that. This one is, so a lot of times people on Pinterest love these you know, cheap and easy farmhouse projects. Well, you could make a 12 um, affordable or cheap or whatever farmhouse products and then link it to the page, the, the category page on your store. You just need to be, you know, um, 10 authentic amazing, you know, vintage farmhouse products to make your home whatever, right? So you can do that same kind of BuzzFeed thing if you're going to be sending them to your category page, right? And so as we do this research, I'm going to say, I'm going to, you know how we kept, and I'm using my big form for this, let's get a Let's get a blank one out. So we have wedding invitations, customizable. So this is words a third down, background picture, four up at bottom right this one for farmhouse diy projects it is 17 cheap and cheap cheap and easy farmhouse diy projects and this is three 12 up 12 up circle overlay with words, right? All right, so now we have, okay, so this is for gold rings boho, gold rings boho, and I love, you see this a lot, and a lot of the girls on Etsy will have this as one of their pictures, but functionally, this is that same kind of collage category thing, um, hand with lots of rings, and all you have to do is get somebody with cute hands and tell them to put on all your rings, take a picture of it. Okay, then we have, oh my gosh, 25 DIY bath bomb recipes. Okay, what if you did, and that's uh, eight up, eight up, up meaning one, two, three, four, five, six, eight pictures. Eight up, up is an old uh, direct sales advertising term. Eight up, words in the middle. Circle around number, right? Um, so how could you do this one? Well, if you sell bath bombs, you could do eight amazing smelling bath bombs to soothe you after a long day's work or something like that, right? You can do this and then send them to your category page. And I'll show you how to do that when we do our posting our Pinterest pins. Last but not least, look at this one. This is a uh, 
you know, three, six, nine, twelve up uh, of artwork. You could do that with your artwork and have a whole bunch of your pictures and then have it go to your category page. So what I want you to do today is to go into Pinterest, do your research. I've already had three other videos for real or for uh, handmade sellers, for vintage sellers, and for digital sellers. I'll put the links to all of those over here. Links to three videos. But I want you to do the research on Pinterest to figure out what kind of collages are being done and what the wording they use is to sell those. Hopefully that helps. If you like this, make sure you subscribe. I'm going to be doing a bunch of videos about Pinterest for Etsy. Make sure you subscribe. And if you really like this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up. That really helps me get more views. So. Hopefully this helps. Tara Jacobson, Marketing Artfully.